Hi everyone, Sandra Duran Wilson here, and welcome to Mixed Media Soul Sparks, where every episode I try and give you some new inspiration. Today I'm going to share with you a product I find fun to use, and it's kind of a jumping off point for, of course, make your own as well. But this is called, it's made by Jacquard, it's called Extravaganza, and really it is organza that's mounted onto a backing sheet that you can run through your printer. So it's got this nice tooth. You want to make sure you print it on the fabric side, not the paper side. So I like to do a little test run in my printer so I remember which side it's printing on. I run this through my laser printer. It's safe to do that. And you don't have to spray it with uh, fixatives. And you can also run it through, well, actually this is inkjet. So I take that back. Run it through your inkjet printer, not your laser printer. And then you're gonna wanna spray it with a fixative, like a workable fixative or a varnish. And make sure you pull it off of the backing paper after you print it, before you spray it. Otherwise the spray could stick it to the backing paper. Now you can draw on this, you can paint on this, but it's really made to be able to run it through an inkjet printer. And as you can see from the cover, you know, you can use photographs, you can fray the edges like fabric, you can stitch it on, or I'm gonna show you another way to use it by adhering it with a double-sided adhesive. And there's a couple of them. This one called Artist Tack. This is great for doing small pieces, but it has like little dots. So if you're doing something that's pretty transparent like this, you might see those little dots. If you're gluing in a more, more opaque piece, it's fine. This is a double-sided uh, adhesive. And I will put the uh, link. If you go to my, my shop, you can find out where to buy all of these products. See how sticky it is here and not there? You would put the, um, I'm just gonna demonstrate a small piece of this. Here's one that I have printed. It's pretty translucent. You could see what it might look like if it went over an area. You don't have to cover the whole thing. Let's say you just wanted to put it up there. So I'm just going to cut out or even just flip it this way. Here we go. I'm going to find the tacky side. Find the side I want facing up. I'll do it this way. Does it really matter? Oops, got the wrong thing in there. All right, come on. Then I press that down. I put this cover paper back over. I'm using a bone folder, which is good for burnishing. And you gotta burnish, burnish, burnish. What you're doing is you're picking up the adhesive on the back side. You might even flip it over, go over to this side. Do a little more burnishing. May not be quite enough, but let me just check it. Then I start to peel it off. Uh, it needs a little more. It's going to be one of those. Sometimes I run this through my press because this one you really have to apply a lot of pressure to. The artist tack, which I may end up using, is much easier. Let's try again. There we go. You see how it's pulling there? I can feel it and it's sticky. So one of the experiences I've had with using this on fabric is that I sometimes have to do it twice. Let me just show you quickly the difference. When I say twice, I mean I have to pull it off of here and then put it on again and get more of the adhesive on. Just because the fabric is so trans, 
mm, not transparent, but it's, I guess it's just pulling up a lot of the, the glue. I mean, hardest thing on this one is getting it apart. That's why I'm not wearing gloves on this one. I'd never be able to do this. So again, if you can look really close, you're gonna see these like little dots. But I'm gonna use this one. Let's get this out of the way. Just pull this off. You can see it's stuck. It's getting the adhesive on there. I just don't think it's enough to really glue it. No, it's not sticking. And I'm gonna show you a third way. My way of preference. Again, I just put it down and burnish it. And this one you don't have to burnish quite as hard. And it picks up those little dots and you can really see the little dots on there. Now, I should probably burnish it more, but you feel how sticky it is. Then I can come in. But I see those little dots because it's, if you go in, you can see those little dots in there. So I prefer to use this one on more opaque pieces. So let me show you, and I just pulled that off, my real favorite way to do this. It's gonna change the texture of the fabric, but this is just a background painting I found from some other demo, and this one I had printed, and I think they look really nice together. I would use, I'm gonna use this soft gel semi-gloss, and I'm not gonna do the whole thing. I'm just gonna show you a part of it. Just spread this with my knife. And you're probably like, well, why didn't you do that in the first place? It's like, well, if you're doing this on paper rather than panel or fabric, then those other adhesives work fine. But when you're doing it on top of an acrylic painting, I really believe you need to do acrylic. But you see how it changes how the, the fabric looks. But I know it's gonna stay. And I don't even have to put it on the front side. I can just put a small amount, thin layer. And pull it over a little. And then I'll let that dry. So that way, without the layer on top, it doesn't change the fabric as much. So those are your options. I like the extravaganza to be able to print images on it. And I even like to take it and stitch it onto a canvas. So you don't really need to use these adhesives. The glue dots work fine if you're gonna be maybe a more solid photograph of something. If you want something more transparent, I would go with this. So check out the extravaganza. It's a lot of fun. I think this is gonna be a, a great piece when it dries and very tropical feel to it. If I needed to move it a bit, I could still peel that up and change it. So that's it for this episode. Check out all of the other episodes to find other ways to do transfers and gels and mediums and glues and all kinds of fun stuff. Thanks for watching and I hope I see you in a workshop somewhere online. Post your work and thanks again. Join the Creative Awakening community on Facebook, where you'll be able to post your art, connect with other creatives around the world, and ask questions. Use the hashtag Mixed Media Soul Sparks when posting your work on social media. 
Thanks for joining me.